how DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall can join forces in the NBA. Now, as we all know, DeMarcus Cousins has been in trade rumors for what seems like almost three years now, which is pretty crazy, but the Sacramento Kings haven't made much progress, even with Boogie, absolutely killing it on the floor. I think it's fair to say that he's become the best center in the league, and the thing is, like I said, his play isn't translating into wins, and that's why he's always in trade rumors, and frankly, you can almost say the same thing about John Wall. Not the fact that he's become the best point guard in the league, since he hasn't, but the fact that he's a terrific player and a guy that a franchise can build their team around, but unfortunately, the Wizards just haven't done a great job of that. Yes, compared to the Kings, they've obviously done better, but when you actually look at the Washington Wizards, they really haven't had much success with John Wall. And when you're looking at the records, they seem to be going in a downwards trend. They look like they were heading in the right direction after the 2013-14 season and the 2014-15 season, but last year they didn't even qualify for the playoffs, and this season they once again seem to be missing pieces to become a playoff team. So both players would be perfect pieces for each other, and they've actually both talked about joining forces, which is crazy. So here's how DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall can join forces. Now, the reason why I'm making this video is because in recent reports that actually came out on Monday, DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall actually talked about playing together, which is why I'm making this video. Former Kentucky teammates DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall told reporters on Monday that they've actually discussed playing together in the NBA as well, although both players want the other to go to their current teams. We talk about it all the time, Wall said of playing in the NBA with DeMarcus Cousins. Now, the storyline came up on Monday when the Kings faced off against the Washington Wizards, DeMarcus Cousins versus John Wall. It was a pretty good game, but before the game actually had even started, Cousins, when asked whether the two players have discussed an NBA reunion, he said, it's come up. Now, that quote right there of, it's come up, is just insane to think about, but not only does Boogie want Wall, he also wants his other teammate Eric Bledsoe, which, I mean, obviously he's gonna say that because, I mean, it's almost a little bit disrespectful to not say, I wanna play with Eric Bledsoe as well. Cousins mentioned former Kentucky teammate Eric Bledsoe in the discussion as well, but said if it happens, he wants Bledsoe currently with the Suns and John Wall currently with Washington, with him in Sacramento. So he obviously wants them to come down to Sacramento, and, and let's be honest here, they are not going to Sacramento, okay? Now, I'm sorry to Sacramento fans, you're probably disliking the video right now, but Sacramento fans, let's be honest here. Your management has got to be the worst management in the NBA right now. It's seriously that bad. You've had, what, really good first round picks and managed to mess it up pretty much all this time. So, I'm just saying, you, I don't know, you gotta do something with your management, but that's besides the point. Let me read you another quote. They're all going to come to Sacramento. John Wall wants me in DC, Cousins said. Eric wants us in Phoenix. But playing with John Wall and Eric again, you never know what will happen. It's the NBA, so hopefully one day, he'll be in a Sacramento Kings uniform. Now, the piece to take out of that quote is, you never know what will happen. And it's never been a better time to get this big three together, because when you think about it, Boogie is right. You never know what will happen, especially in today's NBA. Did you think that Kevin Durant was going to leave the Thunder with Russell Westbrook to join the Golden State Warriors and create a super team? And did you think that Dwayne Wade was actually going to leave Miami? Well, I definitely didn't. I'm just saying that you really don't know what will happen, especially in a few years, which we will definitely talk about in this video because I wouldn't have made the video without telling you guys how and when they had the opportunity to join forces. John Wall, like Cousins, would like his former teammate to join him in Washington if a reunion is workable in the future. He said, and I quote, Just trying to figure out what's going to happen, you know what I mean? Cousins loves where he's at, and I love where I'm at, so whatever we feel like gives us the best opportunity to win, I know what our team is, and here, and what I want to do here, and it's something I keep in mind. Now, what I find crazy, and why I truly believe they have a chance to become teammates in the future is, number one, they are open to talk about the move. They've all stated that they would love to become teammates, and in today's NBA, all you need is a little bit of a rumor, a little bit of a hint, and just a little bit of talk. And, I mean, to be honest, it would be a great thing to see. We've all seen this before, obviously in completely different scenarios, but in kind of the same context. LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and Carmelo Anthony were all great friends and wanted to team up together. They didn't know where they wanted to team up, but they all wanted to become teammates and create a super team. 
Luckily for Miami, they had enough cut space to fit all three players, although they did take a pay cut to fit Chris Bosch instead of Carmelo Anthony since Melo was on an extra year on his contract and, you know, he couldn't join LeBron and Wade in Miami, but they got Bosch instead. Now, that's obviously just one example, and there's obviously plenty more examples, but it's just one of those things that you'd see in today's NBA compared to in past decades, where in today's NBA, it's something you see more of, which... I don't know if I like it or dislike it. I don't really mind. I just want to see players just competing to a high level. So that's my thoughts. But it would be pretty cool to see John Wall, Eric Bledsoe, and DeMarcus Cousins on the same team. Number two, both DeMarcus Cousins and John Wall haven't had the success they've wanted to in the NBA, especially DeMarcus Cousins. I mean, when you talk about DeMarcus Cousins, considering how poorly the Kings management is and considering he's played, what, seven, eight years in the league and never ever made the playoffs, one day that'll get into his head and he'll be gone. Which is just another reason why this duo of John Wall and DeMarcus Cousins, or if Eric Bledsoe comes down, this trio could happen. Because DeMarcus Cousins, he seriously hasn't had success in the NBA. He's never made the playoffs. Now, how crazy is that? You are literally, in my opinion, in my opinion, and according to many others as well, you can comment down below if you disagree, or if you agree, DeMarcus Cousins is the best center in the NBA. Alright, in a few years, okay, that may change. Towns is up there, and there's players like Drummond, DeAndre, Whiteside, you know, they're good, but I just think DeMarcus is like a tiny bit better than them. And if he's the best center in the league, right, he hasn't ever made the playoffs. And to be honest, I don't think it's his fault. I mean, yeah, he does complain, he does suck, he does all those type of things, but in the end, why wouldn't you do that? Your team is trash, and your management isn't helping you become a better team. That's what's going to happen. So DeMarcus Cousins, seven or eight years in the league, hasn't ever made the playoffs. He's, he's going to become frustrated. And we've already heard all the trade rumors to the Boston Celtics, to the Lakers, to everywhere. Seriously, it's crazy. So that's another reason why I just think DeMarcus Cousins one day will just become upset and he'll team up with John Wall. Number three. If there is one thing about DeMarcus Cousins and one reason why a team wouldn't want the best center in the league is because of his attitude. We know Boogie can get a little bit angry, a little bit frustrated, and a little sooky at times, but if anyone would be able to calm him down or get him motivated to not get as many tech fouls, to not get ejected, and to actually stay on the floor when the team needs him, I think the best person would be John Wall, or Eric Bledsoe, obviously, but I think John Wall just fits with DeMarcus Cousins. I don't know. I'd rather have John Wall or Boogie than Eric Bledsoe and DeMarcus Cousins. Especially just because Eric Bledsoe seems like he's a good fit in Phoenix. Whereas John Wall, I mean, he seems like a decent fit with Bradley Beal. But to be honest, I would just love to see Wall and DeMarcus Cousins on the same team. But John Wall, he is the leader on the floor as the point guard. He's the guy that controls what happens on each possession. And he loves to pass the ball. Maybe a little bit too much, which is why his turnover numbers are so high. But I'm just saying that pairing DeMarcus Cousins up with not only a friend, but another all-star, a leader, may do wonders for him. And that would be a scary duo in the NBA for sure. The thing is, if the players are to be teammates in the NBA, it will have to wait until the end of next season, unless a trade happens, which, to be honest, to Marcus Cousins, in a lot of trade rumors, you never know. He might be traded at trade deadline if the Kings aren't doing well and he demands a trade. And I mean, we've already seen Shaq say that DeMarcus Cousins is in trade talks. If you don't believe me, I'll play it on the screen right now. A long time away. Really? Yeah. They're, 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 Can't sneak in there at the eight hole or something like that in the Western. Conference. I think they can, but it's up to their leader, Demarcus Cousins. You know, the past, you know, you know, previous year he's made a lot of mistakes. He's been hot headed. He hasn't shown me those leadership qualities yet, and that's why I'm, I'm, you know, hearing talk of if things don't, you know, start to start to become correct, then they may be looking to go in a different direction. Well, the, the crazy thing is you could be a hothead and still be a leader. Cousins is under contract with the Kings through the 2017-18 season. Both Wall and Bledsoe are under contract with their teams through the 2018-19 season. So it could happen, but it might have to wait a few years. Or a trade can happen, which don't be surprised if a trade does happen, especially with DeMarcus Cousins leaving the Sacramento Kings. Maybe a trade with the Wizards would be dope. I think that would be amazing. Maybe a trade with the Suns, Eric Bledsoe, DeMarcus Cousins. I mean, that would be cool. Um, but I don't know if a trade is more likely to happen than a free agent signing in 2018, 2019. So I don't know. 
let me know down below. Lastly, I just want to say that whatever team these players end up playing for, if it all comes together, if it's a rumor that slowly becomes into reality, if it happens, whatever team these players play for, and if they ever play together, I think it would be absolutely amazing to watch, and I'd love to see that. Let me know down below in the comment section, what do you think? Would you love to see this duo or trio join forces, or would you rather see them facing off against each other? Let me know down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to quickly thank all of you guys that have recently subscribed. Welcome, and I really appreciate you all subscribing. And yeah, we reached 150,000 subscribers, which is absolutely amazing, and I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. The second thing is that I'm on school break now for about six to eight weeks, I believe. So I have a lot more time on my hands to make videos for you guys, which is awesome. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button to show your support. And if you're new to the channel and you want to watch more videos just like this one, please hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's aim for 4,000 likes for the next video, and I'll catch you guys there. Peace!